Hello everyone, this is Boris Media, and I'm here with my first series, actually not my first series, <laughs> I'm here with my, um, like, third or third, I think, series, and today we're going to be going uh, going ahead and looking at 2D games, such as Mario, basically, yeah. So, um, a few things, uh, a few quick news, I'm working on my own 2D games, so I will not be able to help you guys with your games, sorry about that. And I'm also really busy with school since I'm in high school now, so got a lot of work. And um, yeah, so I just decided to quickly um, uh, quickly go into uh, 2D games because you know some people have messaged and asked me to too. So um, yeah, this is my uh, project that I'm working on. You can go on Facebook and like it up. Facebook.com Boris Media Pros the game slash Facebook slash Boris Media Pros the game. Um, there's a few things we're gonna need for this tutorial. Nothing you have to download. Just that really, there's a really helpful website, Unify Community. I'm gonna be taking some of the scripts from here, and um, it's really really helpful. So in this part one, I'm going to be covering pretty much this. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to uh, click file new project. Aaron, you're going to call this um, 2D series. All right. So. Uh, I'm using Unity 4 free version. If you guys comment, all right. So I want to assume that you guys know most of this, like some of the stuff in here. So I'm not gonna go through what this is, and this panel, and this, and this, and this. All right. So um, I'm gonna uh, focus on my camera here by pressing F. So this is a 3D camera so far, and. Um, you can tell because the view is perspective. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change it to orthographic and size to 10. Now, what this is, is from a 3D camera, it goes to a 2D camera. And I'll quickly go through an explanation, uh, a really quick demo. We're going to go ahead, drag this cube right here, and whichever way drag it you can never see it as a 3d you always see one side and one side only and that is because we changed the change the camera projection to orthographic if we were to put it on perspective then we could probably see as you can see right here we could, we could see every single side of the cube so I'm gonna go ahead and change my main camera back to orthographic so not to waste time you do now know why we changed the orthographic now um uh quickly um i'm gonna call this cube the floor and this light lighting if i could type today um i'm gonna drag this down to about halfway Scale it up, and uh, I'm gonna focus on it again. And we're just gonna scale it sideways, like this, or you can make it perfect, just like that. All right. So this is the floor, and um, the floor is where our character controller is gonna. The floor is what our character controller is going to stand on. So, basically, I'll go into our character controller now. Every 2D game has a protagonist, which is pretty much the main character of the game. But, right now, this is really stupid, because this is the first part, and all we have is a freaking floor. You're going to right-click assets import package character controller and we're just gonna wait till this 
imports. Blah 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 blah. All right, now we got our standard assets, and we're gonna click it, and we can see our first and third person. We do not need the third person, so we're just gonna use our first person controller. We're gonna click it and hold it and just drag it right here. Now, as you can see at this bottom screen right here, our our vision is changing. That's that is because this character controller automatically comes with a main camera. Now, I want to do something to to get rid of that. We just open up this little arrow and delete, just like that. And just like this, we can see our character controller, our floor, and if we click the play button in this game panel, we're probably able to move this guy around. There are a few problems though. We have quite a few problems. <sighs> I'll give you the top five. First of all, this is ugly. Second of all, if we press S. Second of all, if we press S. You can see right here. Press S. It's just going to do weird things. Third thing is I'm moving it with my mouse. And that is also not any cool. So, to do that, we're going to click on our first person controller and we're gonna go in here right there and we're gonna disable a few things actually actually one sec let me just re-import re our first person controller quickly all right Got a first person controller, and you want to make sure that this green little outline is within your first person controller because because it is a it is a pain to to move it back. So you have to make sure that this green outline is here because you later on you're gonna have a lot of problems if it's not there. So what you're gonna have is first person controller graphics, which is the actual capsule itself, and the green thing right on the first person controller. And if you resize graphics, the green thing is not gonna resize. So make sure when you're resizing, you're resizing the actual first person controller. All right, so we're gonna go right here and we're gonna change a few settings. Number one, Disable mouse look. Mouse look is going to be rotating your character whenever you move your mouse. So we don't want that. We can even go ahead and remove component, but we're just going to keep it for now and just disable it. Uh, second thing, we're going to go movement. And we don't really have to edit anything right now. Okay, I don't know what I did there. All right. Um, so, right now, if we move our mouse, nothing's really going to happen. That's a good thing. But it can still go this way and fall off the map, or it can go the other way. Now, we, now we're going to do some hardcore scripting. No, I'm just kidding. It's not going to be hardcore. We're going to double click this input controller, FPS input controller, and it's going to open up in mono develop. And um, nothing's gonna be hardcore because all we're gonna do is that's it. It's gonna add another zero, just like that, guys. That was pretty hardcore. Now, if you notice, if when we click play, we click S and W, it's not gonna move. 
A and D, it's gonna move sideways. And now there's no way it can change its Z position. There's no way it can change its Z position or fall off the map. So now um, we got our actual control set up. We're gonna go ahead and quickly resize this guy. And before I end part one here, there's one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it more realistic and uh, you're gonna go jumping, enabled, base height two, one, just pretty much change base height to two, movement. I'm gonna change this to 40, 20, 60, 40. So I got 40, 20, 60, 40. And that is pretty much it because now it's like this. So a quick re recap of what we did today or in this part one in this introductionary part, we've added the floor. We made our camera orth orthodontic or whatever it's called. Uh, <laughs> um, we added our character we remove we made it possible to be a 2d character and um we changed some controls and we made the controls possible so the next part we're going to be making this look prettier and we're going to continue on and making this mario type game so guys this was force media prods subscribe to my channel and remember watch part two part three and so on Thanks for watching. Use this website and um, uh, let check out my game at Borsmeter Pause the game when it's gonna come out. So see you guys.